Welcome to the Biomolecules Project quiz button video. In this button you'll um, learn how to make the button for the quiz. So the requirements for this button are simply that uh, you just have to decide whether you want to design a button or upload a button image. I've talked about this before in other videos, but basically you could either design your own button like I did right here, or go search for a button icon to use and then upload it. <clears throat> Either way, that's the main thing that you have to do. Let's go ahead and add, add the code for it. So here's my quiz. So you're going to find your quiz um, that you worked on from video one. You will see it inside. And now what we want to do is I'm going to just create a sprite for the button. So I'll go over here and uh, paint a new sprite. And I'll use, uh, in my case, I'll use a circle for the button. And if you wanted to, you could change the fill on it to whatever you want. <clears throat> uh, the other thing is you can resize if you need to. Okay. Um, what I want to do before, uh, I want to add my text, but before I add my text, uh, make sure that you are in vector mode. Don't convert to bitmap. Uh, uh, vector mode will allow you to edit any text mistakes that you make. So this is going to be quiz, and it doesn't show up, so I... Uh, type or I hold command a and then I change the fill color on it there we go <clears throat> and then I can resize that I can also use the select tool <clears throat> and resize the whole thing and there we go I got a button that I want um, you know when the main menu starts I might have it like somewhere right here for now it doesn't matter let's go ahead and add the code for it First code that I want is when flag clicked. I want it to show, so I'll go to looks. And then I'll put it in this position. So I already like this position, and so if I go to motion, uh, <clears throat> this position is already selected for me. If you move the button, take note of where uh, the X and Y coordinates are, because then you'll have to update that. But you'll notice that it updates over here. So whenever it's in the drawer, um, it updates, but if you pull it out of the drawer and actually snap it, it won't update. So just make sure <clears throat> that you have it in the position you want. All right, the next thing that I want is uh, another event. And when I receive main menu, and I actually want this same code. So if I can, if I unclick this code or uh, uh, unlink um, it and I duplicate it, now I've got another box uh, of that code. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. The next uh, broadcast that I need is I need a when I receive and when I receive I'm gonna put a new message <clears throat> title that switch and when I receive switch I wanna make sure that it hides and last but not least I need some code when the sprite is actually clicked so when the sprite is clicked when this sprite is clicked I'm going to broadcast two things. First, I'm going to broadcast quiz, and then secondly, I'm going to broadcast <coughs> switch. There, let's go ahead and check it out. So when the flag is clicked, my uh, sprite goes away, I click on quiz, and now my quiz starts. Perfect. I'm done. You're done with this video. You can move on to compiling your project.